results are exactly what Rossi didn't want, the other three in front of him. The gap is down to 18 points. Three races to go, 75 points on the table, and Casey Stoner's back in business. It's a big relief for me, and you know, I can walk, I can talk, and uh, you know, I feel, feel pretty good. Lorenzo has history on his mind. His helmet is a tribute to Neil Armstrong, the first man on the moon. I wanted to celebrate it like Armstrong because this year is the, the 40 years after the first travel to the moon. One small step for a man, a giant leap for the would-be world champion. Maybe. This is the key, the key moment for understanding who we become a champion. Whatever happens, Lorenzo has to beat Rossi. His championship hinges on that. We don't have any strategy. The only strategy is try to win every race and, uh, and try to be aggressive, but uh, at the same time, clever, because I don't want to crash and uh, get hurt. I did a, a good start, but uh, I was very close to Nicky. I touched Nicky and my front brake broke and I, I couldn't brake. Could be could be worse. The thing that important me the most is is my my health, no. And uh, now I am a little bit less healthy. It's over for Lorenzo. Meanwhile, Stoner's fit and Stoner's quick, flying the Australian colours for his home race. He won here in 2007 and 2008. Fast and flowing, the layout plays to his strengths. I really enjoyed fast corners. You know, corners that were always a little bit scary. And the quickest I've been through there at the slowest point in the corner was 258 kilometers an hour. You know, that's quick to be sort of going sideways through a corner. The Australians looking to make it a hat trick of home wins. And Valentino Rossi is looking to stop him. This time, there are no fitness worries for the man in front. Every lap that I kept going uh, past the point where I used to, to just hit my wall, it was, uh, you know, it made me smile. But as the race goes on, he finds himself struggling with the bike. The bike is turning, unbelievable, it's amazing, you know, I've got great feeling with the front, but as soon as I try and uh, load up the rear a little bit, it just doesn't want to hook up. It's something we've been struggling with all year, and it just sort of magnifies the problem once we, we come to a fast circuit like this with long corners. Little by little, Rossi is closing in. Rossi's coming. That's okay. He has a choice. He can finish a distant second or a close second, but he's finishing.
fastest riders love Phillip Island. Of all the tracks, this is where speed and courage are most clearly visible. If you're Alex De Angelis, looking for a ride next year, now is the time to put on a show.